morning everyone. Um, I'm the presenter of uh, a TED Talk presenter Stefan. Today is a very good bad, bad air condition, right? So recent years, um, so recent years, many, recent years, many countries are facing environmental problems like fine dust or CO2 emission. Because, um, this is um, this is the face. Um, this is the problem we face today. Um, how we solve this problem? There are many solutions, but uh, electric vehicle is one of the one of the uh, real, uh, solution we we can find. Uh, electric vehicle has some um, problems like uh, also problems like. Someone argues that oh, there also has some problems, but uh, electric vehicles is um, not dispersing the pollution source, but focusing this pollution source. It is, so it is it is good for uh, uh, eliminating pollution. Also, um, it is less uh, electricity pr production is less reliant to fuel, fossil fuel than the past. So it is. It is, it is a um, be better solution to, uh, to solve the environmental problem. Um, so many, um, many automobile makers are interested in uh, producing uh, electric vehicles, but uh, there are some controversies over te uh, technology issues. Uh, so it is uh, not uh, many so um, th there is no one one best technology, but there is some technology com competition. So there has been a hegemony competition in the electric vehicles, especially for the uh, lithium-ion battery and the fuel cell, uh, hydrogen fuel cell. Lithium ion battery uh, is a, uh, this this is a, uh, this is a lithium ion battery used vehicle and the, and the next is the uh, electric vehicle that uses hydrogen fuel cell. Uh, this is the uh, electric vehicle that uses lithium ion battery uh, Tesla. <laughs> so. Uh, it has an advantage of um, easy access to electricity, wide range of application, which means it has a high power density, so it, it can have a possibility of wide range of vehicle model. But it also has some disadvantages. It is um, it's not very relevant to the picture, but it. Um, Electric vehicle that uses lithium ion battery has has one has a lot of time to recharge, and uh, uh, it, and it is so uh, it has a so volatile structure to explode, um, and also it, uh, lithium lithium is a very limited um, competition, so it it has a limitation of uh, produce a lot of amount, a lot of amount. Next is a uh, hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Uh, it has an advantage of fast charging time. Uh, it is like uh, fueling a uh, gasoline fuel. Also, it has less volume to, to spare energy. So, um, so it, is a, it, it is an efficient energy source. But also, it has some disadvantages. Uh, it has a uh, it has a uh, lack of hydro, high hydrogen uh, infrastructure, so it is a uh, lot. Of, it takes a lot of money and governmental support. Also, hydrogen is some uh, sort of a <coughs> inflammable gas, so it is uh, it, it is not properly ha uh, handled. It is highly dangerous. Uh, 
then why? Why? Why we have to cons uh, consider this hegemonic competition over the uh, air to equals? Uh, let's think about the uh, let's think about the mobile phone. Uh, once the Apple iPhone iPhone gets a hegemony on the smartphone, the uh, the remaining Nokia and BlackBerry has fallen out. So it is important to uh, get a hegemony on the automobile market. Also, it is important to us. Uh, because because car industry affects many many industries like so many industries like that that's a car engine and efficiency vehicle cyber security and many things etc so electric vehicle and uh, heavy money on the uh, Future car is not the not just the uh, car manufacturer's problem, but our problem. So many leaders in the countries are uh, uh, are concentrating on the electric vehicles market. There's Obama, and President Moon, and Shinzo Abe. Uh, that's all. That's all my. That's for my thank you for my listening and uh, we have the QA session and uh, discussion sessions. Thank you. Okay, we have a good discussion and question one is what kind of electric vehicle do you interested in? And why?